What's up guys, Popular Eagle is back in the nest and welcome back to another Stormbound video. So in today's Stormbound video, we're going to continue using the surprising deck against some of our subscribers. This time, I'm going to be fighting Herb Lore. Um, I believe he's kind of low level, so I'm going to put it at equal levels. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure where he's at, but equal levels will ensure that it's fine. Uh, let's give him common courtesy, wave, and the handshake. I'm happy to see that you guys are catching along with that. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Herblore has been telling me in the Discord that he's been climbing ranks pretty fast. As you notice, he is one rank higher than me, but that may be due to the fact that I haven't really been trying super hard this season. Also, oh my goodness, this warns a crying face. Um, I have to warn you, this deck, if you don't have decently high level cards, this deck isn't so great, so on equal levels, this may not work out so well due to the fact that the Needle Blast can just simply target less things and deal less damage. Uh, we'll see what we can do on this turn. We're gonna replace... I don't even know what to replace. We'll replace Midwinter's Chaos, and of course we get a Wisp Cloud. Alright, we're just gonna throw down Blaze Storm. The best thing we can do, really. Jeez, we're getting kind of bad hands. Um... Let's see what Herblore does. Uh, he, his name is still user underscore 313. But if you'd like to give him a friend, go hop in the Discord and go to the friend finder. So tons of people are there just asking for friends to join them to play with and help complete quests. Yes, this is my little plug for the Discord. It's a great place to go meet other Stormbound players as well as find help for completing quests, chat about decks, even suggest me some video ideas, which I do actually listen to. Um, yeah, you should give it a give it a look. If you have Discord, it is free, by the way. Uh, go take a look and uh, join the Discord, you know? So far, we've got over 70 members in the Discord. I know because when I give an announcement, it says, Warning, are you sure you want to alert this many people? And you know what? I say yes every time, because you all need to know this message that I send out. Anyways, back to the game. Basically, what I end up doing, I just combo to Frost Hexer with a Wisp Cloud so we can get rid of his, his Wisp Cloud, which he had placed up there. Um, his Fort of Ebonrock is still standing. I can't do anything about that right now. Because Forts of Ebonrock are actually pretty tough, especially if you're in the earlier levels, because, like, if the recruits are still only worth one uh, strength, and, like, Rhyming's worth two, this only does two damage. So Forts of Evanrock are pretty much forts, as their name suggests. There's not much you can do to take them down. See, look, that I, I, it cost me two cards to kill one Fort of Evanrock. Alright, we're gonna spawn the North Sea Dog. He is gonna get buffed by the hearth, which is upsetting. He's gonna charge forward. Let's see what he does now. Um I think what I'm gonna do next turn is replace Needle Blast. I don't think I'm gonna need it. Um, I'm gonna replace Needle Blast. Okay, actually, here's the thing. I'm gonna predict that I'm actually gonna get Ulf the Hammer in my hand next turn if I replace Needle Blast or any of these cards. So, what I should really thinking be thinking of doing is trying to push out my cards so that I can, uh, I can just shove Ulf the Hammer into his face, like I did in that, to finish off that last game. Alright, so we're going to take our chance to replace Needle Blast. Wow, we got a Blade Storm. That is not Ulf the Hammer. I'm disgusted. <laughs> just Alright, we're going to Blade Storm. And just hit him with some Western Sailors. It's so... Okay, I don't know if this is just me, but it is so frustrating that my Westwind Sailors only have two strength now. They used to have a base of three. Ugh. I nerfed all the backbone units. Uh, it still upsets me even to this day. I've kind of gotten used to it, but it still will never be the same if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see, I'm just checking my OBS real quick to make sure it's still recording my beautiful voice because I haven't used this that often. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for, for bearing with me if there's any issues with this video or the video that came before this. Um, you know, we're gonna pull out the legendary. Ulf the hammer still a beast. He still heals my base. He still got six strength. Nothing can slow him down. We're just gonna spawn him right there and see what we can do. 
the hearth is going to end up healing his... What did he spawn with, Club? Yes, because I got the card history over here. Um, I assume he's just going to cut into Ulf the Hammer from the left. Huh. Alright, Fell Flares. He's going to deal 2 damage to Ulf the Hammer. He's going to lose it. We're no longer going to have a fun line. But that is okay because I believe I have enough cards to make somewhat of a comeback on this. Now, he's done the strategy of stacking buildings on one side. That is an interesting strategy. The reason I'm saying it's interesting and not inherently good is because it's a little risky, actually. For example, if I had Ulf the Hammer, I could quite literally just run him through both of those hearts and I just get the double. Nothing he can do about it. But, if he placed on the other side, you know, oh my gosh, they heal each other. But if he placed on the other side, I couldn't do that because Ulf the Hammer can't run across the whole field lengthwise, obviously. He can't even run across, um, width-wise? Lengthwise, height-wise, I guess height-wise. Um, but the advantage to stacking two on one side is that essentially you just block off a lane and you're not restricting yourself from placing anything on your baseline. So, there's pros and cons to each side, it just depends on who you're facing. I think his decision to stack the two on the right side was probably the correct one, because the deck that I'm using, or which is packed in general, basic- oh my gosh. <laughs> he's got one of the no he's got one of his own. I'm very threatened. Okay, but basically the thing about Winter's pack in general is that it's used to really surprise your opponent. Like, what I mean by that is with the Wisp Cloud in Midwinter's Chaos, you can just take out an entire army before your opponent even blinks. And they have no idea what happens because it just happens so fast. And so the reason I think stacking double on the right side against the Winter's Pack deck is better is because you don't restrict your mobility at all while maintaining the like ability of having your buildings down. Because imagine if you placed on the other side and for instance, he placed a call for eight or something. So that's gonna block out a good portion of the map. Then if I use Midwinter Chaos plus the Wisp Cloud and just take out what I want, I can cut through right to his baseline and he can't do anything about it because he's already got stuff there. He stuffed himself too much. Now this is just theory. Um, this isn't going to actually happen, I don't think. Um, but, you know, just hypothetically, those are some of the issues that could come from splitting your buildings. It's still his turn, I think. Yeah. Uh, what did he play? He played Rhymelings, that's it. Maybe he's losing connection. I don't know. That's always unfortunate. Moments peace. Why? <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> I got a good Look at one of these. I guess it's closest to a, as close to a laughing face as you can get. Because, <laughs> like... I forgot the moments piece, you can use it on structures now. So like, so random. All right, we have another Ulf the Hammer. Oh geez, I just had a nightmare. This game goes on for infinity because neither of us can end each other. Oh geez. <laughs> I see a very big problem here. Um, I think we have to kill those. I already replaced it by this turn. Yeah, we have to get rid of those structures. Oh, this is definitely an uphill battle. Because oh. if he has the structures, they're going to keep healing each other and just completely block off the right lane. I can't get through that. And additionally, he can just keep spawning Ulf the Hammer and healing himself. So, I need to do two things. I should definitely make an attempt to take out his heart. And also... And also just try to block his baseline if I can. Um, replace Blade Storm. Dang it, we need ice first. Just pull out here. Deal 4 damage. I'm very mad right now. I can't believe it's still alive. Oh, handshake. Unless he's gonna, he's gonna 
seed? I hope not. Mm, maybe not. I don't know what the handshake was for. Maybe it was his way of saying well played. You know, people express themselves in different ways. That's alright with me. Oh, Fort of Ever Rock to directly Fort of Ebon block me. I'm sorry for that pun. That was awful. <laughs> Add a little more flavor into my commentary. Alright, he's gonna use Moments Piece again. Please don't use it on the heart. This is a legitimate strategy. <laughs> Just to protect your stuff. I do Why? Why has nobody used this before? He's literally just protecting his base, and I can't do anything about it, because look, he has gatekeepers right here. Like, there's literally... Yeah, I can do this. This allow me to get around these gatekeepers? Sort of. Let's do this. And I guess... Here and here? This should allow me to set up so I can start marching into his base. My only worry is that, oh my goodness, I can't do anything. Wow, this is actually a really smart strategy. The only problem is that he has no real way to finish me. Uh, because if I just keep, like, flooding his outer areas, then he can't even get through to me at all. Oh shoot, Midwinter Chaos. Where's the Whisper? There he is. Deal 4 damage. Is he going to use an Icicle Burst as well? Nope, no Icicle Burst. I don't think he has it in his deck. Uh, get the recruits to take out my get recruits. And see, the annoying thing here is he throws my guys. They don't step forward at all. Well, what we can do to force one of them to step forward is we do a Chaos. Wisp Cloud. So it hits the surrounding. Spawn. Frost Texture. And brother's arm. All right, we're just gonna have to keep stacking um, this little area and make sure that he has no units left alive, so the hearts can't give them any more strength. Uh, I think that's the only way that we can truly win this because the hearts right now are too strong at equal levels to, for me to really take them out effectively. Um, and same with the Fort of Ebron. It'll be just so inefficient for me to pump so many resources into the strength. All right, good thing it destroyed the weaker unit of the two. Okay, off the hammer. I need you to do something very specific for me. Did he do what I wanted? Yes, yes he did. Excellent. The reason I wanted off the hammer to just walk straight forward is... Okay, he's pushing up farther. The reason I wanted him to walk straight forward is now I can attack his base, like, straight up. Um, or maybe not. This is annoying. We're gonna replace Blade Storm. Hit off with the good old hit. Spawn Rhymix. Give me my mana back. Thank you. Less one sailors and those are the Yeah, this is gonna go on for infinity. I can't. <laughs> There's absolutely no way he's gonna kill me. There's absolutely no way I'm gonna kill him. I guess I'm just gonna. <laughs> I guess the real way he's gonna win is if I run out of recording space. That would be kind of a cheap way of winning, but, you know, I'd have to lose if I just ran out of space on my computer. Uh, Veterans of War? That's a new one. I haven't seen that before. Okay, what I have to do, I figured this out. I have to wait for him to make a mistake. Because uh, right now, the way he's positioning his wrist is kind of perfect. So what I need him to do is I need to position his units so that I can get somebody to aggro straight onto them, rather than turning off to the side like they normally do. Hmm. There was a way... Yes. Good, 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 good. Alright, we'll go straight up. Left behind. bit of pressure. We still got 16 foot of base health, but like, we gotta start small, you know? Ooh, this is rough. 
You know, one thing I could do is if I take out this Lord of Emmerich, the one on the left side, I can see that could actually grant. See in Midwinter Chaos, that whole thing. No! Oh, jeez. Wow. This was awful. Why didn't you do Fell Flares first and then... Whatever. Ugh. Go forth with the Rhymelings. Replace the Frost. No, replace me with Chaos. We're just gonna throw it It's not gonna do anything. Uh, actually, we'll hold it there, and then we'll just pump, we'll start pumping some resources into the left side. I feel like we need to get rid of that board. Oh! It literally just cancelled out everything I did there. But the good thing is, with some hopeful RNG, we can take out the fort, um, right away. This is just insane. Alright, as soon as this gets to 20 minutes, I'm going to probably concede. Uh, right now we are at currently sitting at 16 minutes of the video length. Uh, this is insane. I think he's gonna st I think he's gonna eventually win though, because I can't hurt him. But he's gonna eventually start to hurt me. Alright, we'll pull and hold. Chuck a needle gun, I guess. Um, get to recruit. <coughs> and the North Sea Dog. You know Alright, at this point I'm resigned to the fact that I'm probably going to end up in the sea. So I'm just going to make it miserable for him. Um, make sure he can't get any closer. I think that's what we got to do. Hopefully though, he actually ends up making a mistake. And like, blocks off maybe one of his own pathways. This is the only thing I can hope for, in all honesty. <laughs> He's thinking. Frost textures? Combo with the midwinter chaos. It's interesting that he is using ice cover. Because ice cover would be a much more effective method of taking. No! Stop! <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, this is... Oh, I think this might be game over. I'm thinking, what options do I have? Place Ice Cold first. Okay, just do this. Wisp Cloud. I guess I just have to do this, right? Let's see, is it even possible for me to win at this point, or does he just have too much stuff going out strength? Because his total, like, his structures are going to gain 6 strength every turn, because I can't take out any of them. The closest one I am to taking out is the new Hearthy spawn, but even then I can't do a combo blade sword and needle blast and even take that out, so I'll play to the left. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? Why? Okay, in all honesty, I think there needs to be a cap on the amount of health Wolf can give to a base. Because right now, Herblore's over double the amount of base health he's got. It's... I'm actually... I can't. Of rhymelings, place mid into chaos, we don't need it really. Sure, go to the blast. La di da. <laughs> we did two damage to a hearth with 12 strength, and two damage to a hearth with 19. Oh my. <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, though, I'm gonna lose this. 
because he's gotten troops down. And like I said, as soon as he's got troops down, the hearts are going to start flowing into it. And at equal levels, there is not much I can do to stop it. So, you know, this is actually a good thing. I may not even have to concede. Alright, we did reach 20 minutes, so... I, but, however, I do... Oh, that could have been the biggest mistake he's ever made. Uh, well, actually, not really, because... He's still blocking. We're gonna chuck down the blades. Throw. Yeah, yeah, haha. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going for it. There's nothing we can do right now. Um, like, if I... Oh my gosh. <laughs> the green is just flying everywhere. Okay, but see, look. The insane thing is, I can take this hit. He's gonna hit me for 14, and I can take it. I can literally tank this hit. Like, no problem. Okay, now... just gonna tank this hit like this is make a great clickbait title largest hit tanked in stormbound ever I think I like the sound of that <laughs> that's so insane I just tanked a 16 damage hit that warrants the voice cracking oh he's just gonna charge me with an ult I know it I'm gonna concede before you can kill me. <laughs> no, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, dang it. That sword through my shield is like a piercing arrow through my heart. After a long battle, I've completed my ruby quest, which is nice. Alright. You know what? As a little bonus at the end of this video, I'm going to tab over to the Discord and uh, give him a piece of my mind. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you guys what I'm saying. <laughs> Basically, I just said to him, that was the stupidest game ever. Um, we each just stalemated each other until death. So that was pretty fun. Uh, thank you guys, Costas88 and Herb Lore, for playing with me. I, it really means a lot that you helped me make this video. Um, yeah, thank you guys for spending your time to hang out and make a video with me. It was a lot of fun. Herb Lore, your... <laughs> I'm asking him for his deck list. I'm asking, I want to make a video out of it. said yeah he'll send me the deck list so we'll be seeing a video about that very very soon anyways this has gone for long enough thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a like it'll be cool if you leave a comment it'll be super you have subscribed also don't forget to join the discord down in the description below if you'd like to play with me or any of fellow subscribers or just hang out in general everybody is welcome thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all next time